Welcome back guys Today I am going to show you guys How to install Geyser MC on your Minecraft server Or Geyser MC standalone So first thing we're going to want to do Is head on over to GeyserMC.org Hit download and then you're going to want geyserstandalone.com that if you try and put any of these other ones onto your like just a plain old survival server it won't work if you're running a bungee cord server then you'll want this one velocity server you'll want that one or if you don't want to have two servers you can depend on your want um jar you can do fabric, spigot, or sponge. And yeah, so I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. Because there's no point to have 30 things of it on my computer. After that, you're going to want to go to your host of choice, or if you're doing it on your computer, then great as well. <coughs> so. With this, if you don't already have two servers, get two if you're going to run the standalone. With Shockbite, you get 25% off the first month, and there is coupon codes that you can get up to 50% off for your first month. <coughs> and yeah. <coughs> so, what you can do is, so, if it's just for your geyser server, you want three or more gigabytes due to bedrock servers do need more than three gigs, gigs to run. I have this one for the geyser server. Um, four gigabytes of RAM, iron plan, and then I also run the, um, the Spartan plan as it's a good plan. It works for the server. We have a lot of space and all that. <coughs> Once you have all that done and all set up, you'll want to come over to your smaller server your pro or also known as your proxy server and you'll want to basically go ahead and name <coughs> the um, geyser file to custom dash what is it now custom dash java 16 as geyser does not run on java 17 yet <coughs> but that is okay um, and yeah once you have that done and you have it all here with this you'll want to basically scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit custom server type and then you'll put it right here and then you have like your custom far for pocket edition servers java 7 8 9 11 13 15 16 17 and 18 and then you also have all these other ones so the custom jar will run off the um, Java that's currently installed with your hosting provider so if you have it as custom dash Java 16 jar it'll run as Java 16 instead of Java 17 so after that you'll want to and you, after you restart the server <coughs> you want to hit restart and then come to your FTP or plugin or your main file depend on how you are hosting it and then you'll see this config.yml file I do not mean to download that so you're gonna want to edit that and the port will be the port of your server so if it's 25565 you'll set the port to that and so on and so forth and then you'll also want to change the mod d1 and mod, t, mod d2 just to match your server server name you'll want to change that as well <coughs> and then this remote it is the IP for the Java server so you'll want to set it to the IP of your server um, if you are hosting it on your own computer you can keep it as just like the remote address as 
that's kind of what your servers kind of read at kind of thing and then you'll want it want to set the port to what the port your main server is off type is offline just due to the fact that you can't install plugins on the geyser standalone and yeah so once you have that done you can change a bunch of these other settings if you want as well and yeah then you'll want to save it go back let's just head all the way back and then you'll want to restart your server again once that is restarted you want to come over to your main minecraft server come over to your configuration files again <coughs> let it come here go over to your server settings and then you'll want to turn online mode to off you can get some plugins to require off mode and all that if you are honestly very worried about it just don't let a lot of people know that it is in offline mode you can also get skin like plugins to have your Java edition skins back. Currently, there are none to support the Bedrock skins, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world and all that. So once you're done that, then you want to restart your main server as well. Once the main server is restarted, go ahead, open up your Minecraft launcher or on your phone. It's entirely up to you. <coughs> and then you want to open up your Bedrock Edition Minecraft. Let Minecraft load up. Once it finally wants to load up, that'd be perfect. <coughs> and if the reason you are installing this as well is due to players liking um, controller, I do have a video that does show how to install a controller mod into Java Edition Minecraft. Just so that you don't have to buy two servers and stuff like that. So, then when you are done that, you can, I don't want this one, you'll want to put in your name, IP, and port, and then hit save, and then go ahead and join. It won't show all the people in the server, but that's okay, it doesn't have to. <coughs> resources and they're just like this and as you can see I am in my Minecraft server just like this and here's my main account and such like that and yeah but as you can see you cannot change your skin you can change it to I believe just one of these let's check Ooh. no access let's fix that So, and now, oh, oh, it didn't even change it. So, it'll just basically join you as whatever it wants. Like, even, even here, 
if you try and change any of this it won't do much for example let's just set it to this oh, or not but yeah as you can see it doesn't change but that's a-okay and yeah and now once you are in I will show you that plugin that Plugins. Perfect. And now let's. Where is it? Skins Restore is the plugin that you're going to want. So let's just search the configuration. Skin without perm tree. Then you'll just want to save, restore, I mean, and restart your server. I'm not going to just because there are seven people on right now. Huh. <laughs> That's a big ass world. Holy shit. Six gigs. Why is it so high? Oh well, that is gonna be for another video. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Check back later for more. I will have all the links in the description that you need. Thank you.